Hello, I would like to welcome you all to the beginning of a new course, which is a very unique, completely new course, completely new, just, not just because we have created that, so it's a completely new course, because it's the very intro, no, it's a completely new course created for the first time from the vendor itself, and that vendor is Cisco. This course is the Cisco Certified DevNet Associate, the CC DevA, the DevNet Associate course, known with the DevAsk code 20901, the very first version of this exam. My name is Zajar Gafuri. I'm a senior network instructor at orhanargun.net. I hold multiple Cisco system certification plus Juniper network certifications, including this DevNet Associate course or this DevNet Associate, I'm sorry, certificate as well. This certificate, which is the Certified DevNet Associate, it's not a CCNA DevNet. Don't read it in that way, please. Cisco never recommend that. And it's completely different because you are not a network associate engineer in the field of DevNet. You are completely a DevNet Associate engineer. Reason for that will be a little bit convincing in a few minutes when you see the agenda, you'll see that, ah, um, not really a network associate course or a network associate certificate that has um, part of it for DevNet. It's reversed and we will see that. Okay, so we are talking about this certificate that was just created for the very first time in history from Cisco Systems in 2020. It was announced in 2019 and specifically that was June 9th in 2019, June 10th, I'm sorry. June 10th in 2019, uh, to be launched officially on February 24th, 2020. The very first time this certificate was ever created, the DevNet Associate 20901. It has the code of DevAsk with this number, 20901. The exam cost is 300 USD, American dollar. You can take the exam using the testing engine of Pearson View, either in a local uh, certified or authorized, not a certified a lo a locally, or an authorized local center this is how they call it actually when you go to the centers if you have a local center in your environment you will see the certificate of view of pearson view saying um authorized center authorized testing center yes so it will be a local authorized testing center or by using either an authorized testing center or by using the on view which is an application that you install on your computer that will lock your screen and will allow you to take the exam from home of course with multiple multiple steps that you will need to pass through before you are authorized to take the exam from home but the idea you can pay 300 dollars to take the exam from home and avoid going to any center if there was no center at all near to you there are no prerequisites at all for taking the exam i'm not talking about the knowledge i'm talking about even for the knowledge, I'll tell you a good hint in a few minutes. But prerequisites before, because before 2020, like most of the exams required prerequisites. Any CCMP exam required its own CCNA to be passed first before you are allowed to take the exam. Otherwise, taking a CCMP exam without a CCNA exam will grant you zero certificates at all. Like you must take the prerequisites. No more prerequisites for any written exam starting from 2020 on. And that's why one of the new 2020 exams is this DevAsk 20901. That's why there are no prerequisites. So you can just directly go pay the money, book the exam, take it, pass it, and become certified. But of course, you will need the course first. So stay tuned to this course that I just started. Uh, the badges that you will acquire are one single badge, which is called the Cisco Certified DevNet Associate, and you will be enrolled in this certificate only. So this will not be a part of any other certificate like passing this 20901 will not qualify you or enroll you officially in another certificate from cisco no this is only for this specific cisco certified dev associate and that's it but but it will recertify a ccna if you had it it will recertify a dev associate if you already have it and it's about to expire maybe you're watching this video in 2024 maybe 2023, 2025, you already have Dev Associate from 2020, 2021, um, maybe, and you would like to recertify it again to avoid having this to be expired. Then take the same Dev Ask Associate again, and the Dev Ads, Dev Ask Associate that you have it already will be recertified. Also, it will recertify the Cyber Ops Associate 2021 if you have it. So any 200 something dot one something o one right now 20301, 20901, 20201 currently in 2020 beyond and 2021 and up 
these are the only three codes of 20 something or one available no 401 no 101 no 501 601 701 801 all of them are not available 201 301 and 901 only and only and the expiration of this certificate once you pass and the exam and acquire it is three years only now this exam is or enrolls you in its own certificate so i would think like only not so generous but actually this is how it is like the word enrollment if you watch any of my other courses on alhanergun.net you will find that maybe taking the ccmp enterprise core 35401 exam will enroll you in ccmp enterprise and the Cisco Certified Specialist Enterprise Core Certificate and the CCI Enterprise Infrastructure like alluring, nice, lovely, I like that, no problem okay, but um, for the DevNet Associate, it's only DevNet Associate that's it, end of the story, goodbye but the question is, does that mean that the DevNet Associate is the one and only uh, development automation DevNet or DevOps exam, DevOps exam from Cisco the, following the new order or the new um development the new technologies of certifications the new let's say release or development of certifications worldwide because right now not only cisco are using that juniper networks have their certified jncia devops um even other vendors so much other vendors are doing that as well but for cisco it's called the devnet not the devops so a devnet associate okay the idea is one single devops or devnet certificate no ton like they are 10 which are devnet associate we know that after devnet associate you can go from the cisco certified dev a to the cisco certified maybe devnet professional and to acquire the devnet professional you need a minimum of two exams exam number one is called the core platforms there on MPIs and APIs of Cisco developing the applications using Cisco core platforms and APIs and that will be the dev core 35901 soon you will see that uh, course as well on the website plus one of these eight so that be one two three four five six seven eight this one is the ninth DevNet associate is the tenth so currently ten developing developing um certificates from cisco are available according to 2021 and 2020 system nice plus in the future they are still developing something called the cisco certified um internet internet work expert for the devnet they have a cci devnet as well but still developing it has been announced in june 2019 and until june 2021 nothing still under development let's see what will happen maybe by the time you are watching the video there will be such course or some sorry such certificate officially released but the idea is the dev core uh plus one of these guys either you take a course um, a certificate named enterprise network automation collaboration networks automation data center automation service provider network automation security networks automation the devops itself nice so the devops exam is a part of a devnet certificate in cisco in cisco yes in cisco only okay so it's implementing the devops solution and practices using the cisco platforms nice there is the dev iot for iot and edge platforms and there's the webex and webex devices as well these are cisco solutions all of them are actually cisco solutions these are very cisco specific not that general idea and it depends whether just pick one of these, combine it with the dev core, you'll become a CC dev P. By the way, becoming a CC, CC dev P will recertify Cisco certified DevNet associate as well. And we recertify all your other professional and associate Cisco certificates that you have. You might see me mentioning some stuff for you that might sound obvious. Um, don't worry. Let me tell you something. I'm already certified with this certificate and this is important to be certified with a certificate before you produce that like no matter how many like knowledge you have it will be still very important to take the experience of the exam understand what's happening there uh, how did you manage to pass it this will be a very important um let's say tip or a very important thing to transfer to the audience or the candidates that are watching your course 
This is number one. Number two, how I acquired this exam and pass it before I produce, like months, a month, lot, lot of months before I produce and record this course, was by studying so many resources. One or two were never enough. I had to study multiple resources because, let me tell you something, you might already know me, Sajjar Gafuri from Orhanagun.net, by producing um, maybe a CCNA, a CCMP, NDCCP, the core, NDCCP, NRC, uh, Juniper Networks certificates like JNCIA, JNCIS, JNCIP, depending on the time that you are watching the um, course, maybe all of them are uploaded by the time that you are watching this video. Maybe you are already a student, a candidate, a participant in one or multi of these courses that I've just mentioned. And then you will know me as an enterpriser, as an enterprise engineer. This is the concept. And also after years of and years of enterprise network um, engineer and a technical uh, assistant uh, engineer in these environments, I became also a technical instructor as well for these environments, for networks not like I'm um, data center or stuff, but depends. The idea is when I came as a very classic old fashioned routing and switching polish to become enterprise after studying some stuff with Cisco and acquiring their knowledge, became an enterprise engineer. Now I came to study a DevNet course, though it was like, it's talking to me like introducing to me a hundred new technology that I haven't heard of before, almost at all. And you want me just for this for the sake of this associate course to know all of these. Okay, I will tell you about the nature of the exam in a few minutes, but the idea is all of them. Okay, no problem, let me study. Now the idea is why I am mentioning that and wasting the last couple or three minutes of your time is when I went to study books, courses, other resources to pass this exam, they are treating you as you are a professional programmer and I will just take you and take grab you from your hand and make you join the Cisco club with a few extra touches. That's it, you're officially in. And I was like that. What? Just like they started, the most of them, they started from the middle. No one started from the beginning. This is very, very annoying because it's not a specialist, professional, or an expert certificate that you are allowed to start from the mid. You're not start allowed to start from the mid here in an associate exam. It's an associate. You will put so much efforts in the end, you will be called an associate engineer in this specific certificate or this specific domain of knowledge, track of knowledge when it comes to the certifications and to the badges that you will acquire. Just still an associate. So you might... You might not be allowed in very big companies like enterprise or service provider companies to be a dedicated project manager or a designer for a project by holding an associate only. You will be like the assistant or the co cooperator. This is the idea. Maybe a co-op for another professional guy. But you're still an associate. The idea is not like, like maybe to decrease the popularity of this course. This certificate is really, really popular. Like... Really, believe me, and you might have purchased this course or watching this sample because it's very popular. Like, but not just because you read a strange name and you would like to know what's there. No, because it's really, really very popular starting from 2019 onward. Again, so the idea is why I'm mentioning that once again, wasting like four or five minutes of your time, is that in this course, nothing is starting from the middle. When I talk about data formats, from zero, Python, from zero. Concepts of like the software, the um, test driven, the software uh, parameters, the cycle of developing a project, etc. From scratch, from zero, from beyond zero. This this is the idea of how we start. APIs, SDKs, everything is starting from zero here. Associate, I'm expecting you to become to this course as an associate or sub-associate engineer regardless of the domain that you know. So what I'm expecting from you to know, English language, IP address, um, what is a router, what is a switch, something that not a CCNA from the perspective of Cisco, if you know what a CCNA is already, not a JNCIA or a, a Huawei HCIA or a Nokia-based cert certificate, maybe Ericsson, Arista, Aruba, etc. 
what the idea is i'm expecting you to be have a level maybe of what they call the old certificate of cisco that was named as the ccent cisco certified entry network technician this one that was accomplished by completing the exam of icnd1 it was deleted completely in 2020 but maybe if you are an old engineer then you will know what is that at that time they prepared you to know the very very basics of networking uh, cables connections collision domain broadcast domain devices subnetting prefixes thank you goodbye and that's it this is more than enough for this course to start so everything will be in detail from scratch and these everything so i'm expecting you to have not just a minimum but a maximum a maximum level not a minimum a maximum of a ccna a ccnt maybe CompTIA network plus because these guy in the network plus and i also believe in the n plus exam as well they provide you with the very very basics uh vendor uh, uh not a vendor specific one uh but a generic uh, overview or any equivalent of or higher degree this is the idea so having the knowledge of one or any of them will be more than enough to continue after this video of the introduction and proceed with the other videos the instructing method will be the videos that you are watching uh, slides that you will be downloading as pdf on screen scratches because this will be very important plus some hands-on labs because that will be important as well don't think don't think that this is a theory course. It will be impossible for a non-professional programmer, which most of us are not. We are Cisco engineers, not an Java engineers, like not a professional programmer, senior pro programmers for the past three to seven years at all. We are still associate from the perspective of this course, from the point of view of this associate 291 course, so it will be almost impossible or maybe just impossible to understand data formats python apis sdks development data parsing so much other stuff that you will study by just talking about them describe interpret compare thank you and that's it you'll be like okay maybe you'll do so much efforts to understand it a couple of hours after the video you will forget everything maybe next day and that's it sleep wake up Yesterday I saw a video of Sajjad talking about APIs. It was, uh, is this a science exam? Like, am I in college or high school? Should I just write the identification and leave and take my mark? It's not in that way. I will forget about it. I need to understand it. I need to absorb the idea and digest it. That's why we will need to do so much hands-on labs. Simple labs. Very simple labs because still associate, but labs that will make our fingers help our brain to remember this is very important okay i don't want to make this introduction video an hour long like a couple of 20, 20 minutes are enough how to achieve this hands-on labs i will use evng and you can use evng as well you can use anything that is equivalent to evng like cisco modeling lab like a real gear maybe a real gear from cisco maybe you can use gns3 if you know gns3 i will not show you any tutorial about that i'll show you tutorials about evng cml and github only and github is not for hands-on labs for uh, cisco devices for different stuff but we will need to profession it before we leave this course because the exam will ask you about it companies will ask you about it employers will ask you about it and you'll use it if you are a serious guy not just want to know what a devnet is no a really serious guy in devnet you will use it you will use github a lot like every day every week um, every couple of weeks so we are we will have tutorials about github as well so even gcml and github are available you can use them uh you can use even a real gear to achieve hands-on labs you can use genesis 3 if you want you can use other stuff can you use packet tracer of cisco it's an associate course but no why for a reason that you will see in video number four or five this is still video number one like three or four videos from now when i talk about data formats um pack tracer will be impossible to help at that time and you will understand the idea now one last thing one last thing to talk about in this video before i leave which is what is expected to see in this course what is expected is 100 percent a copy and a paste from the official exam blueprints go to the cisco.com type cisco 20901 the devask 20901 check the exam topics also known as the agenda or the blueprints expand them you will see six modules 
copy and paste them here in these slides and you will start our course this is everything so the same six modules there are available here and these six modules module number one will be the software development and design we'll talk about what is data how it is represented then we'll talk about python then we will do some parsing and integrate those data that we have started with with python itself later we will have to talk about the concept of test driven development compare software development methods like agile lean waterfall waterfall came first then lean then agile so i will start from first to last not from last to first uh, explain the benefits of organizing a code using python to methods or functions because they are almost the same classes modules we'll talk about these the advantages uh, advantages of the uh, mvc and observer and also explain the advantages of a version control after we uh, talk about version control we'll have an example of a version control called git that was created by the same creator of linux linus and after that we'll talk about how to make use of git by visiting github.com and starting to work a repository and do all of these everything will be from scratch nothing will be um, depending on your previous knowledge impossible okay uh, the second module will be this one the understanding using apis what is an api number one what is a northbound southbound api maybe maybe not but um since we don't have a dna I'm sorry, a software defined networking solution, then like Northbound and Southbound are not very common today. So we'll talk about APIs and their REST based APIs, the representational state APIs, doing the request, uh, construct them, uh, common usage patterns of the webhooks, talk about uh, APIs more, more stuff, HTTP response code with the REST based APIs. What is this? What is that? When will I see it? How will I identify that? The, usages of it how to make it, see it by our own eyes so that we will say ah, i got it maybe and so much all more talking about http response codes for troubleshooting identify and explain uh, api authentication mechanism using the token the api keys we will need to talk about utilize seems that we'll need to do that hands on labs not just like um describe like we do that by ourselves uh, compare common api styles the rest the rpc synchronous asynchronous let's see so rest was almost all the way suddenly you're telling me that rest is not everything so much more and then construct a python script that calls an api a rest api to use the request library we will see about that in module 2 module 3 has two pages because it's a big module called the platforms and development of cisco we'll talk about the software uh, sdk software development kit we'll have to describe the capability construct means hands-on labs describe means talking so we'll talk about so much other cisco platforms and their support for all of these that will be a lot of talking i'm sorry but we must know it this is very important to prepare us to one of the specialist exams that we have seen before in order to achieve the ccmp uh, DevNet or the Cisco Certified DevNet uh, Professional also described. Identify the appropriate DevNet resource for a given scenarios. Apply concepts of model driven programmability like Yang, RASConf, NetConf, and a Cisco environment. So we will need to apply hands on labs starting with NetConf and then RASConf maybe with Postman and then pushing Yang modules, all of that to real Cisco devices, maybe routers or switches by using either ENG, EVNG or um, CML, depends on what you want. You will understand that step by step. This is module three. So this is hours and hours from now, not like the next video. Uh, construct a code to perform specific operation based on the requirements like one, two, three, and that should be enough to construct that code. We will keep uh, manipulating the code. Module four only also requires two pages called the deployment and security benefits of edge computing clouds all of their types um, virtual machines bare metals containers some very very basics of virtualization uh, comp components of ci cd pipeline talk about that construct a python unit set means hands-on labs and the second page will be 4.6 Interpret means talk about the Docker file. Uh, utilize Docker images in local developer environment, maybe hands-on labs. Talk about these uh, hands-on labs for bash commands. What is bash? We will talk about bash from scratch using a Linux environment and make 
be familiar with all of the basic commands of bash until we become able to go back to 4.11 and see what do they want like commands for file management for directory navigation for environmental variables i will be able to do all of these and then identify the principle of devops practices at the end of module 4. module 5 we are almost done module 5 also has two pages i uh, talk about model driven programmability for automation control level to device level management controller level device level if you have watched my ccmp then this is like a piece of cake if you did not in the core in chapter 7 in module 7 then you will have to watch all of the videos of that that i am about to record here because i'll talk about everything describe the user roles of network simulation using viral and pi ats yes these are some nice skills susco wants you to know because they will ask you about them in the exam Plus, they are skills that every Cisco professional engineer must know. You are an associate certified, I know, but you will call the Cisco professional engineer regardless of your certificate, just because you are certified. Discuss the components of CICD again, but with the automation. Infrastructure as a code, IAC, we'll talk about that at that time. Capabilities of automation tool, like we'll need to talk about. Ansible Puppet Chef NSO. Describe. So no hands-on labs. Maybe in the dev core we'll do hands-on labs. Maybe in service provider automation and in enterprise network automation. All of these will be definitely hands-on labs. Definitely at that time. Uh, workflow being automated by Python script that's using the APIs including an ACI, a Meraki, a DNA center, a RESConf. We will have to do all of that. I know. I know it will not be a simple course and still there is a second page workflow being automated by an Ansible playbook and a bash script we will have to understand these guys uh, interpret the result of restconf or netconf query young modules actually they are a little bit common with previous ones so I believe we will achieve them like before we reach 5.11 maybe what is the unified def, def describe the principles of and benefits of a code review process and the API calls nice the last module is something really interesting network fundamentals if you are a ccna guy you might laugh if you are a ccmp guy you might ignore this module and just try to view it and if you are completely not cisco engineer before then that's why there is such module for you because this mod course has i'm sorry this certificate has no prerequisites the exam can be taken immediately that's why Cisco will make sure that you will know what network funds before you call yourself a Cisco engineer. So they will they have injected this module six. We'll talk about Mac layer two techs, layer three techs, IP services as well, security connection, load balancing and firewalls, control plane, data plane, and management plane, maybe continuing with IP services, but to secure them, talking about NATing, VPN, all of these are security. Finally, the impact of network constraints on applications. This is completely a CCNA uh, module, so maybe you won't like to see it. Maybe you are eager to make use of it. Maybe not. Depends on that. At the time, you are ending module 5. And I will tell you something very interesting while I was preparing Def Core 35901 as well. If you went to cisco.com right now and you took a review on two tabs on your browser maybe or phone or whatever you're using and compared the agenda or blueprints of the DevNet Associate 20901 and Dev Core 35901 you will find that Dev Core is the same as DevNet Associate in the agenda. It has five modules, not six, five modules. Module number one is software development and design. Module 2 is APIs. Module 3 is platforms and development. Module 4 is application deployment. Module 5 is infrastructure automation. Same thing? Yes, same thing. A higher level, starting from the middle. This is the idea. A little bit more deeper, and that's it. And it does not have any duplication. Like in DevNet Associate, the official third guide, the agenda, etc., will have to understand Python, so we'll spend some two maybe three hours on python from scratch until we become a good uh, hands-on labs with pythons with python programming and dev core no python because you should know that from dev a kind of in that way but the interesting thing is that it has only five modules there is no module six of fundamentals of networking because that's enough you will need to find that either in the ccna or devnet associate and this is the idea so 
uh, finishing this course, maybe you will be like 50% towards finishing DevCore as well. This will be very important. So I hope that everything in this introduction was clear for you. And I hope also to see you in the upcoming video because the upcoming couple of or three videos will prepare an environment, a virtual environment for you so that you will always have a hands-on labs under your hand or some labs under your hand ready to be used for deployment. And after that, you will start the very first module and that will be software development and design. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you in the upcoming video. Hope to start a very unique, interesting and a new course with you all. Thank you.